Hey, this is Matt Simpson, the Beer Sommelier at the Craft Brewers Conference here for BrewPot.com. We're going to interview some of the best craft brewers in the entire world. Come on, let's go. I'm Chetil Jacun. Um, well, yeah, Chetil is an old Norse name. Uh, actually, the word kettle comes from, uh, from my, my name, Chetil, which is K-J-E-T-I-L. Um, and I, uh, I'm the founder of Nögne. Actually, we call ourselves Nögne, the uncompromising brewery. Um, and uh, Nögne is, actually means uh, naked island, which is a barren rock in the sea where, where it's not much things growing. Uh, it's due to it's actually because of a local poem uh, from uh, made by by Henrik Gibson in the town where we're located. And I've I'm quite familiar with your beers. I think they're fabulous. Tell me what what was your uh, impetus, your raison d'etre for the creation of the brewery? And tell me why you've chosen the styles that you've chosen. You do mostly big beers, complex beers. Well, uh, first of all, we started, or I started the brewery because there were no interesting beers in Norway. Uh, and I started home brewing, and I realized that friends of mine tend to like my beers. And after a while, I just had to get those products out to the public. It was just an overwhelming idea. I had to get good beers available to the Norwegian public. And I'm sure the laws are much different in Norway than they are here in the United States. Tell me a little bit about what it takes to get a brewery off the ground there. Um, it's, well actually, I guess we all think that there's lots of paperwork and red tape wherever you, we are. All of us, we complain about that, but I realize that Norway is not that bad. Uh, there's lots of taxes to pay when you uh, deal with alcohol and the um, authorities are really paranoid about getting their taxes. So um, I guess we're, we're making, we're helping the government to get lots of income. Um, other than that, uh, with regards to uh, legislation, you are not allowed to tell about your products if you make al alcoholic beverages. So we had a website advertising. So we had a website just explaining about our beers. And um, that was illegal, so if we didn't shut that down immediately, we would lose our license to brew. What we did since we export our beers, what we did, we uh, uh, got our website on a .com address, uh, had it on an, on an American server, and in a non-Norwegian language, which was uh, one of the languages in countries where we were exporting to. So now, of course, all Norwegians understand English, so now we have an English website with all the information we want and the all Norwegians can have that information from, from that website. Excellent. Tell me about the beers that you produce and why you've chosen the, uh, the, the complex, bigger beers. Um, I was an airline pilot at the time, or I, I am still, but at the time I, I started Nogna, I was, I was flying long haul flights, so I flew to the United States a lot. So when I started homebrewing, I got my homebrew, the books about homebrewing, I got my homebrew supplies, big bags of malt in my suitcase, and um, I um, got the inspiration for how to brew the different beer styles uh, from the US. I took my homebrews back to the US on my flights and um, asked brewers in brew pubs to sample it and tell me what they thought about it. And as a result of that, uh, my point of reference was American and our portfolio of beer of beers were initially very American. I guess it still is.